Hey, what's up? This is John Michael with the RailFix Digital Workshop. And in this video, we're going to be looking at a quick and effective way to create grass inside Maya. Now, we're going to be creating our grass with Maya Paint Effects. So if you navigate up to uh, the middle tab on your shelf and click Paint Effects, and then look for the Grass Clump Brush. Now, the Paint Effects brushes start with a uh, preset size brush. So if I go ahead and just drag the brush across the screen with the left mouse button. These are the preset values for this particular brush. Now, if I go ahead and give that a render, we can see it's, it's really small and it, it might not be exactly what we want. So if we look over in the grass clump node in the attribute editor, we have uh, a slider here that says global scale. That'll actually adjust the size of our paint effects in real time. But there's another way we can do that by holding down B on the keyboard and by dragging with the left mouse button. We can also scale the brush profile interactively so we can make it bigger and smaller, uh, you know, depending what we're trying to do. So let me go ahead and turn on the uh, shaded mode so you can see this a little bit better. Now let's just delete those. Okay, so let's jump right into it. Now if we just create a... Uh, you know, a small uh, bush of grass here and render that out. Now, uh, it doesn't, now it doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look great, but it's not so bad. The I think the only uh, problem with the default values of the paint effects grass is it kind of has like a, a flat cartoony look to it. Uh, and that's because if you look inside of the uh, grass clump node on the shading, we have two color values here that are basically plugged in. You could probably see this better inside the render view here. Uh, we have the color on the bottom, which is this uh, sort of muddy dark green, and then we have the more saturated light green at the top. And basically what, what Maya is doing is it's just creating a ramp over the course of uh, each blade of grass to generate those colors. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the settings that we can adjust inside the grass clump node to make our grass look just a little bit more realistic. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, instead of using these colors, we're actually going to uh, use this texture drop down. If we tick the map color option and scroll down further, we're going to see a few options here. So the first thing we're going to do is look at the texture type. We're going to change it from texture, um, excuse me, from uh, checker to file. And we're going to change the map method from tube 2D to tube 3D. And that'll make this option here available uh, where we can actually plug in the image we want to use for the grass. Now, uh, we want to use uh, an individual blade of grass, which I have this JPEG here uh, of an individual blade, because it's actually going to be piping this image across the surface of each individual tube. So. You know, I grabbed this off the internet. You can create your own texture in Photoshop, uh, online, uh, scan a piece of grass that you find outside, or whatever you might want to do. But for our, this project, we're going to go ahead and use that JPEG. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, load that in. Now, if we go ahead and take another render, now that we have our texture in there, you can see that the difference actually uh, isn't that much. So if I, if I save that render and I turn the texture off and re-render this. You can see we're sort of just getting uh, something that looks a little bit darker. Now that's because there's one really important step that you don't want to forget, which is, uh, let's turn this back on. Now the first option right underneath map color says text color scale, and that's set to a value of one. This is basically mixing uh, the texture JPEG that we just loaded into the grass and the colors that we saw previously. So if we set this to zero, then we're going to get something uh, that's just using the JPEG image. So let's go ahead and save this. This is with uh, the texture turned off. So let's save that. And now if we re-render, this is just with uh, the JPEG. So we can see the difference. This is sort of the default grass color, and this is just using uh, the JPEG. Now from, you know, from far away, it, it may look like uh, just a difference in color, but actually if we take a render uh, of a close-up here, you can actually see the texture in the blades of grass. So again, we'll go ahead and turn that off, save the render, re-render. 
And you can see uh, the default settings uh, have this very flat ramp that doesn't look very interesting. And then once you once you pipe the texture and you get a, a more rich surface uh, that falls across each blade of grass, which which is giving you a more photo real texture, uh, which looks nicer in your renderings. So the other thing we want to look at is ways that we can add variety to the grass because you know right now it's looking okay, but it uh, oh, I'm gonna put this back on. You know, right now it's looking okay, but it's it's still it's still fairly plain, and uh, you know because it is just one type of grass, it's uh, just being repeated over and over again. Uh, so one great thing is that inside the Maya Paint Effects, we're not just limited to this particular type of grass. If we go to Panels, Panel, Visor, uh, this brings up a bunch of preloaded folders um, for different paint effects. So we're going to go to navigate to the grasses. And we see we have all these grasses to choose from. Now we're using the grass clump um, option right now, but we can load a different brush. So for instance, uh, we might want to get a smaller grass. This uh, Bermuda uh, grass is pretty nice. And if we just test this out first, maybe make this a little bit bigger. We just kind of you know paint in some grass around the base of the grass we have here. Uh, we can start to build up the uh, the paint effects in the scene to get something that looks a little bit more dynamic, a little bit like something you might see, uh, you know, outside. So if we go ahead and take a render of that, you can see now we have, uh, you know, this sort of small patch of grass that's leading up to uh, the larger grass. And it's always a good idea to sort of... Uh, just to keep some variation, you can mix in uh, different sizes of the same type of grass. So we can maybe make that a little bit bigger and, and mix a few of those in there. Uh, and then the, the other thing we're going to want to do is take something like, uh, you know, you, you'll usually see weeds or flowers growing in uh, patches of grass. So they have a, a, a daisy paint effect here. So if we paint some of these, um, you know, you can make some small ones here and then uh, maybe make the brush a little bit larger and have a few of them coming out of uh, the taller grass. So we take another render of this. You know, we can see how far that's taken us uh, from where we were uh, just a few just a few renders ago. Just adding uh, a little bit more of that visual texture uh, can really make the grass look uh, a lot more realistic. And you know we have all the same options for uh, these different brush profiles as we did for the the taller grass. So, you know we can come in here and if we don't if we don't like how saturated this is, we can, you know we can desaturate this a little bit. Uh, we can make the grass look maybe a little bit more dead. We can make this a little bit more brown, like a sort of like a muddy green, uh, and re-render that. Now, if you notice, uh, because I selected this particular instance of the paint effect and edited the color, it only changed these um, selected pieces of grass, but the other ones stayed the same. So in this, you know, in this case, this actually might work out to our advantage because it's sort of, you know, again, adding that variation. You want to keep uh, the colors and the sizes of things sort of varying so things look a lot more um, dynamic. We might even want to go in and take this uh, original brush stroke that we did, go into the drop down menu, paint effects, do get settings from selected stroke. That way we're painting with that same, uh, same brush, but let's make it a little bit smaller and maybe paint a few of these, uh, down here. Go ahead and see what this looks like. So this sort of layering technique works pretty well if you're doing a more of a, a wild landscape where, where you would have a lot of variation in the different plant life and things that are sort of growing together. Um, but, you know, depending on what your project calls for, you can uh, sort of tweak things and you do have a lot of control uh, in Maya. So uh, this is definitely a really good tool to have in your arsenal. So I hope you guys enjoyed this short tutorial video. Don't forget to leave your comments and questions below. And also check out the Real Fix Digital Workshop for more great tutorials. Thanks, guys.